Thousand metre dash for race number three, and the first of the race is uh, on Chairman's Day, which is named after former chairman of the club. Class four contest here, headed by Fabulous Eight, winner last time out and beaten by the very smart winning Dreamer on debut last time. Dublin Star was the last start course and distance winner, beaten by Fabulous Eight. The start before Solar Power, first up since January. Super Kin, third to Winning Dreamer, last time out. Comfort Life, second to Dublin Star, last time out. Noble Birth on debut. Universal Record on debut for Tony Millard and Chad Schofield. Dr. EQ for John Size, the try tongue tie for his third start. Down to Jiangxi Stamina. Chris So and Matthew Poon from Barrier number 11. Didn't finish last time out behind. Fabulous eights over the thousand metres. Super kin, comfort life and sparkling light. The horses that have been up at Chung Fa in the last 30 days, Tom. There's a number of these that can go forward. Not really a, a, a natural leader here, but Noble Birth has uh, shown some good enough uh, gate speed to potentially be in the firing line. As to Sir uh, Dublin Star, we know what he's about. Sparkling Knight won a recent, uh, two recent trials up at uh, Chung Fa has uh, sparked the night, or one at Chung Fa, one here at Sha Tin. Diamond Pegasus is another one that can go forward. I thought Fabulous Saint might be able to sit a little bit closer than where he's mapped there. And Dr. EQ Comfort Life, uh, universal record showing no barrier speed at all. In fact, he's been very iffy at the start. Fabulous Eight's been in great form last three starts. One, two starts ago and ran second behind a very promising horse and winning Dreamer. His work's been good. Uh, the stable's going well and he's got a good draw, so a lot of positives there. And he has come up the early favourite. Dublin Star, I think, is his main rival. Put everything together finally at his last start. Did a lot of things wrong, but the penny might have dropped for this horse. Antoine Hamlin aboard. The horse goes nicely, and he did ride him last start, so he gets on well with uh, Dublin Star. Uh, this is Noble Birth. Now, he's the first starter. He's had two trials. He's 11.06 pounds. I thought it was not a bad piece of work from him as well, and he's another one who's looked good in his trials, so he's a little bit of an unknown in this race. All right, we'll start off with uh, Fabulous Eights here. Last time out, a few horses to take note of as well. Super Kin, Diamond Pegasus and Dr EQ all running behind uh, winning Dreamer Tom, who might be a quite a smart recruit. Yeah, so I think the, the form around Fabulous Eight looks good uh, with winning Dreamer winning this race uh, first up. Fabulous Eight had won prior to this over a, a nice enough horse, kind of cool, and in the end he, he kept on fairly well. I just thought he might be able to sit closer than what he was uh, mapped there. Other horses in the, the race, Super Kin, I didn't think it was a bad effort from him, and he should be found again in the market at uh, 12. 12 and 4.6 at the moment, so definitely fabulous eight. Yeah, they're the two I've taken out of it. It was a quick time as well, and it was a, a nice win from that horse. All right. Second, yeah, Dublin Star um, had run behind Fabulous Eight the start before, but uh, came out and did this with uh, Comfort Life staying on as he does. Dr. EQ, a little bit disappointing again, maybe, Paul. Yeah, he finished well back, didn't he? So I haven't entertained him. Dublin Star now, he finally put everything together. He won nice. He does meet Fabulous Eight three pounds better off on their last meeting. Uh, Comfort Life, uh, not a bad run from him, him as well. He hit the line strongly. But I think Dublin Star and Fabulous Eight are the two for me in this race. Yeah, I think that's the obvious, Quinella. Comfort Life first stayed on OK there, but he's been very hard to catch. Uh, just one win through his career, and he was a little bit awkward away from the start on that occasion. Hard to catch, but I think certainly a place chance. Yeah, and that win as well came over the 1,400 uh, metres. This is Jumbo Engine, who drops in class, and he's been back at the trials, Tom, since his, uh, his last run. He began really awkwardly in this trial. He, he lay in, but he still was able to uh, find the lead here he kept on well enough late he was I think ridden by one of the uh, the riding development uh, apprentices uh, here and look he ran okay two runs ago but I haven't got him in the mix yeah I have to see him do it on race day for me um, I haven't seen enough on race day yet okay well there's uh, two debutants coming into the field universal record and noble birth here for Jimmy Tink Keith Young will ride uh, just the two trials we've got to judge him on he'll start life off in a hood as well Paul yeah he will and uh, look I I'm going to put him in for third because I don't think I think it drops away after the top two I mean that's uh, th those horse Island Shine in front of Momentum Galaxy uh, rated higher and he, I thought he stayed on nicely enough with them and was pushed out well and his grass trials have been good. He was a $150,000 NZB ready to run purchase was with Catherine Cameron when he trialled in New Zealand and he looked quite good in a few of those uh, trials over there so uh, certainly one to entertain. Alright, Sparkling Knight was last when we last saw him back in October Paul but again he's been at the trials. That was over 1600 he's uh, been freshened up, he's coming back to 1000 he did win this trial nicely enough, but he again, he's drawn barrier two. I'd prefer to see him on race day do this. Yeah, and he is rated 48. He won a trial at Chung Fa, was second, and also a trial at Sha Tin. So three trials coming into uh, this. Uh, I didn't find him, but he might be able to improve. All right, he's right down at the bottom of the handicap. At the top, though, Paul is our favourite, and that is Fabulous Eight. Yeah, look, I think it's uh, quite a straightforward race, um, touch wood in this one. One to beat two or two to beat one. I think that's the clear. Quinello, Fabulous Eight and Dublin Star. Noble Birth is the unknown because he's the first starter. And then Super Ken ran on really nicely at his last start. So one, two, eight and five in the end.
Yeah, that's a Quinella for me as well. That uh, Quinella currently paying uh, 3.1 at the moment. A fabulous 8 Dublin star. I think Fabulous 8, though, can uh, go on with it. Super Kin uh, didn't mind his effort last time out. He was at to 5.4. Two back was a little disappointing. Ran well at a bigger price last time out. And Comfort Life. 1, 2, 5, 6. We've all got the one, two, five in the numbers. Fourth number for me is the nine universal record. The other debutant won a trial at Happy Valley. He has missed the start, though, but stays on very strongly, so look out for him.